Hello and welcome back. All right, so today I wanted to talk a little bit about computers. Computers and CAD, and this is my computer. Oop. This is it. So, I built it on a piece of wood, yeah. Anyways, uh, so I wanted to start off with a little story. When I started out in CAD, I started using CAD in high school. We used Autodesk Inventor back in those days. It wasn't very good. Uh, it was slow, it was hard to load really big assemblies. We didn't have the right computers for it. It just piqued my interest. It was like the coolest thing that could make something inside of a computer, uh, just creating it. It was, it was awesome. I wanted more of it. So I, I decided, hey, I like this, I like calculus. I'll go to school to be an engineer, right? So I get, I get to school and I think to myself, I think, hmm, I need a computer that can run CAD, right? It probably should be a laptop so I can bring it to class and all that kind of stuff, right? And so I buy, you know, I think I spent 800 bucks on my computer, right? Oh, I way overpaid for that thing. It was a nice computer in its day. But nowadays, man, things are different nowadays. Even in the five years that it's been since I bought that computer, things have changed so much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you a couple of scenarios here. Let's say you're like me. You're just getting into college, you're an engineering major or whatever, and you look at your, your class list and you see CAD software or whatever. You see engineering drafting. And you think to yourself, hmm, I need a computer. I need something that I can run this with, right? Because maybe you want to tool around with it a little bit on your own like I did. Um, and so I'm going to warn you not to just jump on the train of the laptop because the specs that you need are, the specs that you want, I should say, the specs that you want are going to cost you a ton of money, way too much. Uh, so yeah, that's scenario number one. Scenario number two, let's just say you're just a home gamer and you think like, wow, these guys, that, that, that Fusion 360, let, let's take a moment here and just think about how amazing it is that Fusion 360 is free. It's free, man. Like, like the software used to cost at least four figures. Talking, we got good CAD, um, rendering, we got CAM, FEA simulations, free. Just giving it away for free. It is incredible. This software is awesome. And so if you, if you don't know what it is or haven't like experimented with it, I encourage you to download it, try and get it figured out. It's super easy to figure out, but this is like professional level stuff. It is leagues better than Google SketchUp, like far better than SketchUp. Uh, so anyways, we've done that. So let's say you're just like your average home gamer that sees this free, amazing software and you think, hmm, I'd like to get on that train. Um, yeah, so then you think, well, I need a computer for that. I need to, I need to get something. And you look, you go into the gargler, you let your fingers do some cleggity clacking and you're like, what kind of computer do I need for CAD? Well, they're going to tell you you need this big, expensive, quadro, professional, professional graphics card. And I'm going to tell you that any old computer can run CAD. So this computer right here is, it, it has a little Celeron CPU in it. It's the Celeron G3900 um, HD 510 graphics. Uh, I got eight. Uh, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM and just the cheapest power supply I could find. This is an H110 motherboard and then it's got that SSD the Samsung 740 SS, or 750 I should say SSD and it is uh, 120 gigs so it's really small but it was cheap <clears throat> alright so you want to build yourself a, a CAD computer, a CAD workstation for your home, or if you're a student, you know, you want to do this for pretty cheap, right? And so you, you get onto the old, in, the, onto the internet, and they tell you, you need, you need, you really need to have a professional graphics card. What you really need is something that's professional, <laughs> professional hardware. And that just is not true. I mean, in a professional environment, yeah, you'd want that because you want, like if you're building computers for a professional engineering office, you you want the professional graphics card because you want to know that it's going to be stable. You want those drivers 
you want to have that because you know if something fall, <laughs> if something falls apart if something crashes and it's your fault and loses a bunch of work I don't want to you know you don't want to point at you and say hey why did you choose these graphics cards over the other ones well uh, in the home office you know it doesn't matter we just want something that will run CAD right well this Celeron G3900 will run CAD just not very much it's just not very big assemblies takes forever to do some FEA, it takes forever to do renders, it takes forever to do cam stuff, you know, all of that. So you wouldn't want to do a lot of that, but yeah. Um, and so let's look at these things called APIs. Um, basically there's DirectX 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is the highest one. There's DirectX 12, Vulkan, OpenGL, OpenCL, Max use OpenGL. Um, because DirectX is a Windows thing. Um, and so if you if you go into your Fusion 360, you'll be able to find this, which API it's using. You can choose between 9 or 11 right now. And the thing about DirectX 11 is, is that it favors high CPU clock speeds, not cores, clock speeds. And so it's key that that you get something, you don't need that big i7 with, you know, with four cores, eight threads, not for the four cores, eight threads, you need it for the four gigahertz, right? And so if you can get something around three and a half to four gigahertz, that's good um, because DirectX 11 doesn't use, um, doesn't use very many cores. DirectX 12, however, is said to utilize more cores. And so if, if in the future you want to build a CAD computer and it uses DirectX 12 or higher, it'll probably need more cores. It'll it'll respond better. But in the meantime, you know, we can use something small and something cheap to get the graphics horsepower that we want. That's just in modeling though. When we get into things like simulation, rendering, and all of that kind of stuff, we, we're gonna want those extra cores. But these, I mean a gaming graphics card has support for DirectX 11, DirectX 9, even DirectX 12. Same same type of thing that a professional card has. You don't need this professional card is what I'm saying. You don't need to spend the money there. Uh, save your money, buy a good graphics card that is a consumer level graphics card, not a professional one, because CAD uses DirectX 9 or DirectX 11. I think that's true for SOLIDWORKS and for Fusion 360. So like I said, just save your money, buy a normal graphics card, get something with more power in it. Um, yeah, so those are kind of some of the specs that you're looking for. It's doable. It's very doable. Thanks for stopping by.